Good morning. There is an enormous storm in our lives right now that we are all facing, the pandemic. We can't gather as a church community. We can't get the hugs and human contact that we need. We can't understand why this is all happening and our lives have just been turned upside down. These are our circumstances. Amidst this storm and all storms of life, I know the one thing that will pull us through, our Father in heaven. God hasn't promised that we will never face trials in this life, but he has promised to never leave or forsake us. God didn't promise that life would be easy, but he promised to give us peace and grace for each moment. God's grace is sufficient no matter what our tomorrow holds. During this storm, God's grace abounds. We have found new ways to be church and we are adapting. We can still minister to those less fortunate. We can still pray and study scripture together. And now we can even share the precious body of Christ through a drive-by communion. So why do I continue to give to support the life and mission of St. Thomas during the midst of this storm? Because St. Thomas is my gift from God. It is my spiritual home, my extended family, my safe place regardless of any of life's circumstances. The day will come when we can gather and celebrate our love of Christ together and I want to continue to celebrate it with all of you here at St. Thomas. Until then, we need to cling to the promises of God in the midst of the storms of this life. His promises are true and he is faithful. I would like to close today with a scripture passage, John chapter 16, verse 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world.